Ding, ding. Ding, ding, ding. Welcome back to the Jane Jones Podcast featuring Kermit the Burrito. He really just, he wanted to be here and he wanted to be baby, you know? He's at his most average amount of happiness oh. right now. And Peach is at her most average amount of sadness because she is not in the burrito. <sighs> Sorry. Peachy, you're going to have to lay in your bed. You just weren't you chosen this time. Bed, honey. Welcome back, anyway, uh, guys. This episode is brought to you by me, Undies, the most wonderful softest and uh dazzling looking underwear out there on the market uh me and is delivered right to your door uh three times softer than cotton we talk about it all the time it's the best underwear i've ever worn and i won't wear another underwear because of it right now you guys get 15 percent off your first pair free shipping and 100 percent satisfaction guarantee when you go to me undies.com slash jenna julian or hit the link in our description also guys looking to build a website do it with Squarespace. Uh, they make it incredibly easy. Squarespace has designs, fonts, images, plugins, hosting, and the best part is 24-7 customer support that they help you do whatever you want to do with your website, whatever your website's for, your hobby, your business, your merch. Do it with Squarespace. Uh, right now, guys, Squarespace is giving you 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain when you go to squarespace.com slash Jenna Julian or click the link down below. You can also get a free trial. So, we're going to do something today that we've done before, actually. Um, it was It's a choose-your-own-adventure sort of thing where we go through and play this, like, game that's kind of pre-written. And you make choices along the way to, to you know, determine how you end up. Who wrote this one? I don't know. Um, God found the author. Or- mind you, what? this is... I did some research and I looked into this website and you guys actually tweeted me a lot of suggestions because I was looking for websites to do this on. Because it's fun. Yeah. And uh, one of you tweeted textadventures.co.uk. Oh. And I think it's kind of exactly what we're looking for because it's a text adventure. It's like a choose your own story. So I clicked on the horror genre. Oh my God. Because I figured if we're going to do this. That's why Kermit swaddled right now. Let's do it right. I'm scared. I can't really hear myself that well, but I don't care because I look good with this hat. Julian. Uh, is that better? Yes. Wait, it made no difference to you. <laughs> I just look confused now. Also, how dark is my facial hair? What do you think? I dyed it. You look nice. Can you tell? It looks like just like a little bit muddy. Julian, it does not. It looks nice. I don't mind it. What a compliment. What? What is this like some dazzling look that I'm missing? You look you look nice. I'm ready to get scared. Okay, so this one is called Texture by Ralph T. Thank you, Ralph T. Wait, Ralph? Ralph. Ralph. R A L F. Which I'm is usually so a PH, upset. so he already seems like a he's, little bit out there. He's the guy or the lady or the them. So this is called Texture. Thank you, Ralph. Also, you have an inventory over here, places and objects and compass. Don't know what that's for, but let's get started. I'm scared. Type here. The oh. picture's already scary. Okay. Carmen. Texture by Ralph Thyssen. Forest. The sound of birds chirping enters your ears. You open your eyes and slowly stand up. Trees surround you. It seems you woke up in a forest. You try to remember who you are, and what you're doing here. Unfortunately, you can't answer these questions. Your memory is gone. You can go north. And then it says type here. So I'm assuming we type go north. Or Okay. Okay? I don't understand your command. Pass out from fear. That's not a command. Go, or should I type pass out from fear? Yeah. I don't understand your command. I'm just going to write go north. Wait, I can't see. You have to like show me. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I'm, I'm. Bear with me here, okay? I'm, bear. I've not, I've not done this. Okay. I like this. This is different than the last one we did because you, you couldn't type in the last. The one. last one was multiple choice only. So this one actually gives you a prompt. Oh my God, how interactive! It says you can go north. Okay, go, I feel like go okay, north. Go north. <gasps> Change colors. Entrance. You leave the forest behind you. Night has fallen. The path leads you to the entrance of what seems to be a house. You can see a gate. 
you can go south or north. Oh my God, I'm already overwhelmed. Well, how about this? What? In an attempt for the story to go north, let's go south. But that's where we just came from. True, true. We'll just be <laughs> retracing our steps. I didn't even think about that. Okay. So then what happens if I press north? I don't know. Oh, okay. So you can use this as an option. Oh, oh, it okay. says... The north gate is closed. I clicked north and it says the north gate is closed. So south. Hold on. Don't don't click. Let's make a decision together, Julian. Slow down. What do you think? Well, it says the north gate is closed and there's literally only one other option. So I would think south. Okay. Go south. I thought we could continue on north. Should I write go north? Yeah, or click north. I already tried that. Go north. The gate is closed. Oh, okay. All right. Go south? Sure. Or go up to the gate, right? Yeah. Oh, God. We, we just retrace our <laughs> we steps. We just retrace our steps. So okay. go north and then check out the gate. You can see a gate. Oh, see that. Okay. Open. Should I write open gate? I don't know. You can see a gate. Let's try open gate. Oh, you opened the large gate. What? What now? Enter. What? This is hard because it's like, I don't know what words it reads. Okay, just try. Enter house. Hmm. Okay, so let's, what if we try pressing north? Because we're past the gate now. <gasps> house. You walk around, sorry, you walk towards an old Victorian house. You can see a doormat and a front door. You can go south or north. So we've passed the gate. We've seen that it's an old Victorian house. See a doormat and a front door. I would assume we keep going north. Mm -hmm. Okay. Go north. The front door is locked. You need a key to open it. Ooh. Oh. oh, the doormat. How do we check the doormat? Maybe you just write check the doormat. Why don't you just type in doormat? Doormat. Good call. I don't understand your comment or command. Um, check the doormat. What if we click doormat? I can you click it? <gasps> Look at, take, or move. Oh, that's cool. You get prompts up here. Okay. Take. I'm kidding. Look at. Look at. When you look close enough, you can still see it once had said the word welcome engraved on it. Ooh. That doesn't help us at all. It's a doormat. Every doormat says something like that. What if we move it? Our doormat says bonjour, and it has a picture of a dachshund. Get we don't it? have a dachshund. Get it. Our doormat is literal clickbait. Get it. Okay, take. Press take or something. Move. Okay, move, yeah. You move the door, doormat, a uh, key is visible. <gasps> Dude, nothing but net. Let's go. <laughs> key. Woo. Should we look at it or take it? I say we just take, take it. it. Let's take it. All right, let's just take it, dude. Get, Wait, give me that look, damn door. We should, we should look at it. We should look at it. Okay, we should let's look, look at it. it. Looks like a key to the front door of the house. <laughs> Amazing. Okay, take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. Take it. You take the key. Front door. Let's open the front door. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's get inside this damn house. Front door is locked. You need a key to open it. What that... Uh, Oh, you can use the key. Use By the, the way, key. I'm going to click save periodically because I think it saves your progress in case it like closes out. All right. Key use. <gasps> on which object? Doormat or front door? Doormat. Doormat. Use on the door. I'm, I'm kidding. Front door. Front door. Doormat. Oh, front door. <gasps> use the key to open the front door. You slowly push the heavy door open. Oh, I'm scared. Okay. You want to keep walking forward? Yeah. Main hall. The heavy front door closes behind you. That was a bad door sound. Hold on. The heavy front door closes behind you. <gasps> How was that? Scary. You try to open it, but it's locked. It seems like you're trapped inside. You find yourself in the main hall of the Victorian house. Although it's quite dark, some candles in the ceiling chandelier dimly lit the main hall. You can see a staircase, a front door, 
and a chandelier. You can go west, up, or south. I'm oh. overwhelmed by choices now. Let's go up. Up? Yeah. I'm going up? I like any time that they give me the option to go up, let's go up. By the way, if you're watching this on YouTube, the reason we've created so much space between us is A, because we're friends, and B, <laughs> because we want you guys to be able to see the, Hopefully. the prompts behind us. Anyway. I said we go west. Okay, we can go west. Let's go west. West. Kitchen. You're in the rather small kitchen of the house. The kitchen is a complete mess. All cabinets but one are destroyed. Sounds like maybe my kitchen. It's airy season in that house. You can see a cabinet. You can go east. Okay, so we can investigate in the cabinet. I want to look at the cabinet. Let's look in the cabinet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, look at. Old cabinet looks like it almost falls apart. Okay, let's open it. Yeah, I want to open it. You gently open the cabinet doors. The cabinet contains a blister strip. What is that? Is that like a, a band-aid for when you get a blister? I don't know what's a blister strip. Maybe a band-aid. That sounds nasty. Why would that be in the... Is it some sort of thing that I don't know about? Because that's totally possible. I don't know. I don't know. Okay. Do we have any options? Blister strip. Look at take. Let's look at it. Yeah. An empty blister strip that seems to have contained medication to treat chronic aggressive behavior. What the hell kind of blister strip? Oh, I strip? see. A blister strip like, you know when you have pills and you push them through the plastic to the other side? Oh. That's a blister strip. So it's med it's like meds. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay, creepy. Mm -hmm. Take it. Take it. It's ours now. Eat it. Put it in your body. Okay. Now we have the blister strip. We have the cabinet. Should we close it or no? Yeah. No, I like to leave it open. Oh, my God. I'm, not, I'm feeling very anxious. All right, fine. We'll close it. <laughs> you gently close the cabinet doors. All right, let's go back east. Okay. Because it says you can go east. That's the only direction. Okay. So we go east. We're at the front hall now. Uh, with the dimly lit chandelier, you can go west, up, or south. So we already went west. You want to go up? Yeah. Let's go up. Or, okay. First floor. You're on the first floor of the old house. You can see a painting. You can go east, down, or west. Let's look at the painting. Look at the painting. Intrigued by the painting, you walk towards it. The bloody eyes of a woman are painted on it, and they seem to stare at you suspiciously. You closely look into her bloody eyes. Nothing happens. Take it. Let's Ew. take it. Okay, let's. We're an art thief now. We're an art thief. Oh, okay. Not only are we trespassing, we're breaking and breaking entering. Breaking and entering. But but no, listen, we, we didn't break thief. anything and enter because the key was there. I'm pretty sure that's still <laughs> breaking and entering. <laughs> okay, we'll take the painting. Imagine being in court. It's too heavy. <gasps> we can't take the painting. But sir, there was the key there. I didn't. It, it was fine. But sir, Kai, come in. All right, Your Honor. <laughs> The painting is too heavy. Okay. We can't take it then. We can go east, down, or west. Do you want to go east upstairs? Sure. Okay. <gasps> master bedroom. Everything just turned red. Master bedroom. You find yourself in what seems to be the master bedroom of the house. You shiver as you look around the room. The Baroque wallpaper design on the walls is covered in blood stains. A blood trail leads to the bathroom on the east. You can see a bed, a closet, and a desk. You can go west or east. Ew. Ooh. Can we touch the blood on the wall? Is that an option? Just a boop. <laughs> boop. Boy, I swear to God. Just a little boop. Stop. You're, like, you're so loud in my headphones when you do that. It's actually physically hurting sorry, me. Sorry, sorry. Do you want me to lower your headset? Yes. Okay. Please. Boop. <laughs> Is that better? I hate it. I hate it. Is it any better? Ugh. Yeah, it's better. Guys, make sure you so... turn this to full volume and pop those AirPods in those ears. <laughs> oh my god, it okay. like hurt. Okay. Let's let's look at the stuff, like the bed mm -hmm. or the okay. closet or Perfect. the desk. Yeah, so let's look at the bed first. It's a king size bed. The sheets are stained with blood. There's blood everywhere. Oh my god. Closet. Look at the closet. Yeah. Closet is filled with some men's clothing and a lot of women's clothing and shoes. 
women be like Julian. Sorry. <laughs> almost almost everything contains blood stains. The door of the closet lay broken on the floor. What happened here? Should we open? So everything is covered in blood? In Seems like most room? well the wall, the bed, and some of the closet. You wanna open the closet? Yeah, sure. Even though we already already in. Uh, you can't open it. Okay. Let's close it. <laughs> you can't close it. Oh, okay. Uh desk. We'll look at the desk. Yeah. It's just an ordinary desk. Okay. Mm, okay. <laughs> Can we take the bed? Yeah, take the bed. Take the bed. You don't want to touch that. Oh. oh. Not too heavy. It's just you don't want to touch that. Who are they to presume? I don't know, man. Okay. okay. So we can go west or east. We already went east. So we can either go further east or go back to the... Keep old. going all the way east. Okay. As east as we can. Bathroom. Bathroom. <gasps> you follow the blood trail and enter the bathroom. You can see a curtain and a toilet. You can go west. All right, let's open the curtain or look at look at the curtain. The curtain hides the bath and is covered with blood. Ew. Open. <gasps> okay. I'll open the curtain. You open the curtain. The bath is visible. Oh, I wasn't expecting that. Bath. Look at the huge bath is filled with a large amount of blood. Ew. It looks like someone or something is slaughtered here. No, 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 no. Ew. Toilet. Can we Can we drop one real quick? <laughs> oh. Let's look at the toilet. There's a kitchen knife laying on the toilet seat. Oh. Okay, we're not dropping one. <laughs> um, let's look at the kitchen knife. I'm going to just go ahead and take take a shot in the dark guess here. There might be blood on the kitchen knife. A bloody kitchen knife. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should take it for okay. protection. You take the kitchen knife. Okay, that's the first thing we've been allowed to actually take. Oh, no, we took the meds. So in our inventory, we have the blister strip and the kitchen knife. And the key to the house, but we used oh, it. We already used it. Okay, so now I think we can just go west. Right? Yeah, I'm scared. All right, let's go west. We're in the bedroom again. Let's go west again. You're on the first floor. All right, let's go west. Okay. Here we go. Study. You're in the study of the house. Wait, is this the house that Clue was based on? It feels like it might be. Because there's go, a study. Is going, that why? We go to the library next? I've never played Clue. I'm just kidding. I played Clue. Oh, my God. You're in the study of the house. Someone seems to have had a fight with a laptop and a lot of books. You can see a laptop and a bookshelf. You can go east. Oh, there's laptop? I didn't know the time period of this. Me neither. Let's open the laptop. Okay. A modern looking laptop doesn't seem to work anymore. The screen is completely shattered. Who would have done this? Who could have done this? Okay. You want to take it? Yeah. I mean, while we're thieving. We could get some good coin for that. You don't need the parts. Oh, damn it. How bookshelf. do you know that? You don't know my situation. Do you want to look at the bookshelf? Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's look at the bookshelf. There are still some books left on the shelf. One particular book catches your eye. Anne Frank, The Diary of a Young Girl. Should we look at the book? Wait, is that the actual title of that? I don't know. Or is this like, I thought it was called just the diary of Anne Frank. No, it seems to be. The diary of a young girl by Anne Frank. Wow, I did not know that. Yeah, so it's legit. Okay, do you want to look at the book? I read it. I just didn't know that was the title. Yeah. Ready? Ready We're looking We're looking at the book. Oh, it just gave us the title again. Do we take the book or do we leave it? Take it. Take the book. Wait, I wonder why that book's there. Take book. You want to take the book off the shelf, but the book seems to work as a lever. You remove your hand from the book and watch how the bookshelf makes way for a secret room to the north. <gasps> Wait, why you... Ooh. So we touch the book mm -hmm. and it opened the swivel door mm -hmm. that takes us to the north. Now we go north. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're going north. Secret room. You found what seems to be a secret room. The room is dimly lit by the light coming from the study. Some empty boxes fill the room. You can see a ladder and boxes. You can go south or up. I feel like we got to go up. 
I want to go up. Wait. Go up. Good. Okay. Sorry, I'll slow down. I'm yeah, not... slow down. Okay. Well, what do you want to do at this point? No, I mean, yeah, we agree we want to go up, but like just... I'm not ready to go up yet. I got to think about it. Take all the it. time you want. Why don't you want, you want to take the reins? Yeah. Okay. We're going up. You're going to block me off completely. That's what it's like sitting over it, here. I had it open to the, to both of us. Okay. You ready? Yeah. Attic. You're in the attic. A lot of small candles lit the room past tense you can see a mirror and candles you can go down can we look at the mirror and the candles yeah which one do you want to look at first mirror look at oh we're gonna see me okay a large floor standing mirror with a baroque style frame strangely enough you can't see the image of yourself in it so it's it's a mirror, but you can't see yourself. Yeah, what the hell? Wait, so um, I don't know how to use these controls. What do you need to know that you don't know? Want to take the mirror? You can try. It's too heavy. Yeah, figures. Uh, candles. I'm pretty strong. I don't know. Let's look at the candles. Okay. The small candles lit the attic. Want to take some candles? Mm-hmm. They're too hot. <laughs> Can we wait a sec? <laughs> Can we blow them out? Oh, what if we use the kitchen knife? On the candle? I don't know. Use? <gasps> On which object? Blister strip, mirror, or candles? Mirror. You want to use the knife on the mirror? Yeah, let's, let's smash it. Okay, let's try. We click mirror. You hold, wait, what? Okay, it just took me to a totally different screen. You hold the bloody kitchen knife in front of the mirror. You wonder why the image of the knife in the mirror is not covered in blood. Suddenly, the mirror starts to glow and a powerful energy grabs you and pulls you towards the mirror. You can't resist it. Before you know it, you're sucked into the mirror. Oh, fuck. It says continue. Attic. You find yourself on the floor in front of the mirror. You slowly stand up and look at the kitchen knife. The knife is clean. As expected, the image of the knife in the mirror shows an example covered in blood. Could you be on the other side of the mirror? You're in the attic. A lot of small candles lit the room. You can see a mirror and candles. You can go down. Okay, we just hopped through dimensions. So now maybe we can go down and figure out what happened. Maybe. So we may need to go to the bedroom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go to the bedroom. So you go down and then east, I think. Okay. You can also do this if you want to. You cool. don't have to type. All right, we'll go down. Okay. Secret oh, room. damn, that's crazy. Okay. You're in the secret room. The room is dimly lit by the light coming from the study. Some boxes packed with books fill the room. You can see a ladder and boxes. Let's look at the boxes. Mm -hmm. They weren't there before. They're filled with books. <laughs> They're filled with books. All right, want to take a book? See if we can take one try it yeah it says you don't need those okay so let's go uh, what about my quest for learning not the time we're trying to survive in the other dimension it's never too late to learn i thought you said it wasn't the time for reading that was yesterday oh today is the time for reading yeah okay okay so we keep going down i think so yeah or so, south because we want to get to the bedroom Mm-hmm. study okay so now we can go east again Okay, first floor. You're on oh, the let, first floor. What? Yeah, I want to see if the painting has bloody eyes. Click on the painting and see if we can look at it again. Okay. Painting. Yeah. Look at. Intrigued by the painting, you walk towards it. The beautiful eyes of a woman are painted on it, and they seem to stare at you suspiciously. You closely look into her beautiful eyes. Nothing happens. So sh no, there's no blood so far. No blood. Everything's in her clean eyes. and happy. Okay, let's go to the bedroom. Oh, whoops. Do I go to the right or mm -hmm. to the left? Yeah, east. Okay, master bedroom. You find yourself in what seems to be the master bedroom of the house. The room is decorated with wallpaper and Baroque design. You can see a bed, a closet, and a desk. 
we keep going in or you want to look at the desk or the bed bed let's look at the bed mm -hmm. let's look at the bed it's a king size bed the sheets look clean this is tripping me mm -hmm. out let's look at the closet mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. it's a huge closet with big doors well, you don't say. There has to be more. Should we go? Uh, let's look at the desk just to make sure we're covering all our bases. Oh, there's a note lying on the desk. Oh, shit. <gasps> okay. Look at the note. Let's look at the note. The note reads, I'm sorry, but I just can't take it any longer. Oh, no. <gasps> take it? Yep. Sorry, no. You take the note. Sorry, All right, no, no. finally, we got an item, y'all. Give me that damn note. Give me that damn so note. So we go east, we go to the bathroom now. Okay, let's go to the scene of the crime. You enter the bathroom. You can see a curtain and a toilet. You can go west. I guess we can look at the curtain. Yeah, there's probably no blood, but we can look at it. Okay. The curtain hides the bath. Mm -hmm. Want to try opening it again? Mm -hmm. You open the curtain. The bath is visible. <laughs> So now you have to look at the bath. Do I have an option to bathe? <laughs> it's a huge bath. Take a bath. Take. Take bath. You can't take it. Oh, okay. Toilet. <laughs> oh, this is where you found the knife. Mm. Oh, let's look. Okay. Look at the toilet. It's just an ordinary toilet with a wooden toilet seat. Wow. What year is it? Go well, There off. was a laptop, so. True. We also could just be in the upside down. Take the toilet. Damn it. Okay. So I think we have to go downstairs. Yeah, I guess so. So I'll head back. To the first floor and then go down. Go down. Yeah. Ooh, what is this? So main hall. Mm -hmm. We didn't... Oh. This is where we entered. Mm -hmm. So if we go south, that means we're leaving the house, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. And if we go west, we're going into the kitchen. Mm -hmm. So I guess we should go to the kitchen. Yeah, let's check it out. We haven't seen it since we've switched sides. Yeah. Okay. Okay, you're in a rather small kitchen of the house. The kitchen looks clean. You can see a cabinet. You can go east. We should definitely check the cabinet. Okay. Look. The old cabinet looks like new. Open. Let's open the cabinet. You gently open the cabinet doors. The cabinet contains a power supply. Take the power supply. Should we jam our knife into it? <gasps> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Try it. Use knife on power supply. <sighs> okay. Use kitchen knife on which object? <laughs> Blister strip, note, cabinet, or power supply? Power supply, power my supply. dude. You can't use it that way. Oh, fuck. Damn. All right. It was a good idea. Okay. What if we use the... Can you turn on the power supply? Open. It gives You're you, oh, cabinet, that's, sorry, yeah. take is the only option. Well, we haven't looked at it yet. Okay. Then let's look at the power supply. A power supply that seems to be designed for a laptop. Oh, so Did should we, we go take to the, the laptop? No, but we can go to the study. It said it wouldn't let us take the laptop, right? Yeah, but what if we go to the study where the laptop is and use the power supply on the laptop? Oh, we took the power supply. Yeah, we have the power supply. Wow. Well, so if we go back to the east okay. and then upstairs and then to the west. Upstairs is where the study is? To the right. Yeah, yeah. And then to the west, I think. Study. Okay. Yes. You can see a laptop. Oh, yes. Okay. So use power supply and see if it gives us an option for laptop. Oh, let's go. All right. We're going to use the power supply on the laptop. You connect the power supply to the laptop. Oh, my God, dude. We're, dude, the files are Let's in the computer. Go. Woo. Woo. <laughs> um, now what? Laptop? Look at. Turn on. <gasps> Let's go. Okay. You turn on the laptop. After the laptop started up, an article on the website of what seems to be the local police department is displayed on the screen. Okay. Look at the screen. Oh my God. <gasps> okay. The article is titled, Woman Found Dead in Forest. You read the article. The lifeless body of a still ident unidentified young woman was found in the forest last night by a runner. The woman has long blonde hair and was dressed in a short red dress. 
black pantyhose and red high-heeled shoes. We believe she was murdered and possibly raped. She has multiple head injuries and her eyes are missing. Medical personnel have determined that the cause of death is exsanguination. Is that a, a fancy way of saying strangled? Oh, due to a cut throat injury. Oh, no, 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 no. If you have any information that can help us solving this murder, we highly encourage you to contact your local police department immediately. You feel strange and dizzy. Suddenly, a picture of the bloody eyes of a woman appear in your head. The image frightens you. You've seen those bloody eyes somewhere. Fuck. Yo. Let me see this real quick. This is super creepy. What are you doing? Checking out Squarespace. (laughs) Julian! Um, Guys, this episode is brought to you by Squarespace. And right now you can build your own website. Julian! Using Squarespace. Look at all these beautiful (laughs) options it gives you for templates and features to make your website look beautiful on desktop, mobile, tablets. They have 24-7 personal support. It's amazing. Uh, Click on templates. Let's see what they got here. Look at all the customization you can do. They have different categories, health and fitness. What do you want to see here? And then they give you options for what it might look like given previous websites or even mock-up websites that have been made with it. Um, And they're giving you 10% off your first purchase of a website or domain. You can try it for free. But I guarantee you're going to like it. And then you can check it out with our discount code and start building. You can build a whole website. And you don't need to be a coder or a a professional in this space at all. You can be anyone who wants to just build a website for something you want to build it for. So go to squarespace.com slash Jenna Julian like that. Bam. Look at that. 10% discount right there. That's all you got to do. Wow. So check it out. You uh, will be incredibly surprised at how easy the process is. Uh, and check it out. They have online stores, case capabilities for you to build into your websites. You can do a blog. You can do a lookbook. Whatever you want, check it out. And then when you're done with that, go to meandies.com slash Jenna Julian. And check out their awesome collection of underwear and bralettes and onesies. Oh, look at that. We know these people. That's us. That's really cute. Um, and you get 50% off your first order and free shipping. Check it out, though. You can shop all the underwear you want. They have an awesome thing where you can get a his and a hers or a his and a his or a hers and a hers, a dual pair so that you can match with your significant other or best friend like us. Just a couple of friends. <laughs> Just a couple of friends. You click on it. You see all the options. They have mystery packs. You can sign up for a subscription. Uh, this is what I was just talking about. Matching undies is very cool. Uh, and the membership is where it comes regularly and you don't have to go shopping for underwear because it just comes to your house. So click on the link below and check it out. And uh, they also, if you're into things more than underwear, they have uh, modal thong packs, they have socks, they have bikini packs, bralettes, onesies. It is pretty limitless. So check it out. Go to squarespace. Or sorry, meundies.com slash Jenna Julian. And then go to squarespace.com just Jenna Julian. Or click both links in the description below so you don't have to remember any URL. It's there for you. And uh, enjoy all of what they have to offer. Thank you to our sponsors. Thank and back sponsors. to the story now. Okay. You can keep going from here. Okay. All I'm right. I'm scared. So this article. You're not first my of all, friend. I love you. You're not my friend. I love you. Okay. <laughs> Is that joke over? Should we just be done? I'm just scared of the story. Oh, okay. So you can't friends on me when you're scared. Wow. Classic. Scared. Don't be scared. Okay. Let's just analyze this for a second. Woman found dead in forest. We started in the forest. Mm-hmm. So we're the woman. Figuring, it's very possible. Well, they didn't say figuring that. Figuring out our murder. They didn't. Maybe. They didn't identify our gender. No. So we could be the woman. We also could be the murderer. We could. Because we started in the forest. Uh, the lifeless body of a still identified, unidentified young, young woman was found in the forest last night by a runner. We could be the runner. The woman has long blonde hair, was dressed in a short red dress. See, we would know all this if we looked in the mirror and it was a normal fucking mirror. <gasps> we could go back to the mirror because it's not weird anymore. Oh, we already did. Mm. There's just no blood. That's why we popped out, yeah. Hmm. Okay. So, 
You've seen these bloody eyes somewhere. Let's go back to the painting. Okay. Or do we have to go through the mirror again? I don't know. I don't know either. I don't know what to do. Screen. Can we take that blister pack medication or what? <laughs> uh, it only gives you the option to drop it or look at it. Eat it? No option to eat it. Eat it. No, there's no option to eat it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Good talk. What if we go further into the study to the secret room? Okay. All right. Let's go north. Secret room. You're in the secret room. The room is dimly lit by the light coming from the study. Some boxes packed with books fill the room. You can see a ladder in boxes. You can go up or south. So we went up last time, and that's where we found the mirror. I think. Let's try it again. So you're trying to go back to the mirror now? I guess. Go up. Uh oh. I'm going to save. Uh oh. It's freezing on me. Uh oh. Uh oh. This is not good. SpaghettiOs. Nothing's working. Oh. <gasps> no. Oh, no, Julian. What do we do? Okay, and we're back. Sorry for the, the inconvenience of our internet dropped out and we lost our place. So we are safe now. I saved the progress and we are back where uh, the mirror is, but we're on like the good side mm -hmm. where there's no blood still. Right. So we have the knife. We learned about the article. We've seen these bloody eyes somewhere. Okay, we go back to the attic where the mirror is. Let's look at the mirror. A large floor standing mirror with a Baroque style frame. Strangely enough, you can't see an image of yourself in it. Candles. Let's look at the candles. Small candles light the attic. All right, let's use the knife on the mirror again. Ooh. You hold a clean kitchen knife in front of the mirror. Suddenly, the mirror starts to glow and a powerful energy, energy grabs you and pulls you towards the mirror. You're sucked into the mirror. So just like the other time. Whoa. Okay, so I think we're in the dark side of things now. But we should we should go back to the light side and then uh -huh. maybe go outside. Yeah, yeah, maybe we can go to the back to the forest. Yeah, okay. Let's let's All right, we sucked ourselves back in the mirror. We're on the light side. Okay. Let's go down. Let's go south. Let's go outside. Can we open up the boxes? No, okay. Let's go south. Let's go to the top of the stairs. Let's go to the bottom of the stairs and let's go out the front door. Mm -hmm. You're unable to open the heavy front door. Oh, no. Oh, God, we're stuck. Dude, dude, dude. Front door. Can we use the knife on the candles? Or the blister pack? I don't know. Let's look at the chandelier. All ah! candles. That's so loud. Gonna swing from the chandelier. <laughs> from the chandelier. Thank you. No, <laughs> just no. Um, it says all the candles burn bright. So it's really light out. Nothing really threatening. Let's go outside. Come on, let us open the fucking, come on, let us open the fucking door. It won't let us open the door. Damn, okay. Hmm. Well, what do we do? I mean, we go to the kitchen again. Okay. Cabinet, we've been here. Mm -hmm. It's already open. Close. Take. Can't take it. Okay. What do we do? We go upstairs? It's our only option. Yes, so. All right, we go upstairs again. Wait, did we get the note yet? I, I retraced the steps. Maybe I missed yeah. the note. Oh, okay. No, like here we desk. go. Yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, we fucked up. What does the note look say? I'm sorry, but I just can't take it any longer. Okay, so we have the note now. Okay. I retraced that step. Um, can we go outside now or can we go through the mirror now? I don't know. Well, we already know we can go through the mirror. All right, let's go downstairs. We can go up, west, or south. Main hall. We can go up. Oh, that was where we were. Hmm. Painting? Isn't there, you know, when you get to the secret room, you mm -hmm. can either go up or south or mm -hmm. something? Like, have we tried going south from there? Let's check. I think South just retraced the steps, but we're in the study. Oh. North or East? Let's go North. You can go up or South. 
What happens if you go? Oh, if you go east from the study, then you just go back to the, to the main hall. Yeah. Mm. So, hmm. We're kind of stuck here. Ladder. <gasps> Take. I wonder if we could use the ladder. Okay, Climb the ladder. Use the ladder. Climb. You're in the attic. Oh. oh. Okay. <laughs> can Dang. we use the candles on the mirror? Or the blister pack on the mirror? Candles are too hot. Blister strip. All it gives us an option to do with the blister strip is take, uh, look at it or drop it. Hmm. You're in the attic. Mirror. Let's look at the mirror. Strangely enough, you can't see yourself. What if we use the... What if we go back to the dark side now that we found the note and like... Because the note was not on the dark side. It was on the light side. Right. What if we go back to the dark side? Okay. Now that we read what happened to the girl and we got that note, maybe if we go back to the dark side, we'll have more options. That's the move. All right. We're using the knife on the mirror. We're back to the dark side. Let's go down. Oh, wait. No. Yeah. Let's go down. Go south or up? Let's go south. Now we're in the study. Now we're in the study. Laptop. laptop. Ooh. Let's look at the laptop. Shattered screen. Okay. Uh oh. This isn't looking too good for us. All right. We're at the top of the. Let's see if we can go out the door again. Yeah. Okay. Let's go okay. down. Out the door. Unable to open the heavy front door. So that's normal for both sides. So we stuck in this house on both sides, Beach. Chandelier's go, pretty dark. Where's the painting? We haven't looked at the painting again. It's in like the, the hall. Oh my God. You're right. We looked Wait. at the painting. Yeah. What Intrigued by the painting, you walk towards it. The bloody eyes of a woman are painted on it, and they seem to stare at you suspiciously. You closely look into her bloody eyes. You remember these eyes. These eyes belonged to your wife. Whoa. She couldn't take it any longer and wanted to leave you. But you couldn't let that happen. Anger fills your body as a poison. Suddenly, everything begins to shake. The painting falls off the wall and hits your head. Everything turns black. Whoa. Oh, I just got shivers, dude. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so it gives us, as a place and object, a small hole. So we should look at it. Yeah. Continue. Master bedroom. You find yourself in what seems to be the master bedroom of the house. Your wife is busy packing her clothes. <gasps> she leaving us. You can see your she wife, leaving our a ass. bed, a closet, and a desk. Oh, my God. You can use the kitchen knife. It gives you the option to use the kitchen knife. You still have it and the blister strip. T can we eat that medication finally to lower our aggressiveness? <laughs> no, it says look at her drop. No. Okay, so let's see wife. Look at wife. Okay, yeah, look at wife. She wears a sexy short red dress, dress, black pantyhose, and red high heels. This isn't, sorry, this is how you like to see her. She's always dressed like she's going to a party, but she isn't going to a party this time. She seems to pack her things and wants to leave. She leaving our ass. She's dude. dressed in the sexiest lingerie, so we know what we're missing out on when she's leaving us. She's not wearing lingerie, Julian. It's a dress. Sexy, though. <laughs> Don't forget sexy. All right, let's speak to her. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You try to speak to her, but she ignores you. No. Damn, feels wife, bad. Wife, please come back, wife. Bed. Look at. Lay. Lay. It's a king-size bed. <laughs> yeah, is there an option to seduce her in the bed? Uh, the sheets are clean. Make a, make a funny joke so she doesn't want to go? Closet. Your closet is filled with some men's clothing and a lot of women's clothing and shoes. Your wife is busy packing her clothes. Okay, we know that desk. Let's look at the desk. It's an ordinary desk. All right. Let's look at the note. <gasps> okay. The note reads, I'm sorry, but I just can't take it any longer. So that's, that didn't change. Wait, so is our only option right now to use the knife on our wife? Honestly, yes. I, we've tried everything else. Thanks a lot. Use Game. knife. Oh, on God. our wife. Use it on the closet. Or else use it on the closet. You can't use it that way. Uh, use it on the bed. Get your anger out some other way. You can't use it that way. Use it on the blister strip. You can't use it that way. Use it on the desk. On the note. You can't use it that way. Please. All right. We don't have any more options. We have to use the knife. We got to do it to on the our wife. wife. Use the knife on the wife. Oh, God, dude. This is gnarly. Okay. 
This might be triggering actually, so trigger warning, I think. Yeah, definitely trigger warning. Uh, you walk towards her. Should I read this? I don't know. I don't know what it okay. says. Grab her and throw her against the closet. She screams, but no one will hear you. Mm, yeah, I'm not going to read this. You pretty much just murder her. That's what I'll say. Let's continue. It's so graphic. It's very graphic. Wait, it's very I graphic. I didn't. I only read one part of it. That was like a paragraph. Yeah, I think it was probably but, best I, mean, I didn't we already, read it. We already know the the way that she dies in her eyes and her throat. Yes. So it's that. And the like fact a, that there's blood everywhere. A really, really unnecessarily gratuitous <laughs> Sorry, description guys. of yeah. that. Okay. Anyway, I'll make believe, guys. Why are there so many birds outside? They're just like circling our house. Okay. Wait. <gasps> what? Black crows circling our house. Julian! Oh, no, 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 no. Okay. They're not circling our house. He's just there's one in that tree, and he's just having a good time minding his own business. So dog. If you say like a flock of them, yeah, it's a little ominous, but like you find yourself in what seems chilling. to be the master bedroom of the house. Mm -hmm. The baroque wallpaper design on the walls is covered in blood stains. A blood trail leads to the bathroom on the east. You can see a bed, a closet, a desk, and an emblem. You can go west or east. What's an emblem? Let's look at it. Wait, I want to see if we can take our meds. No, we still can't take our meds. Oh, Look well, at the emblem. We really fucked up. A small stone emblem with a tree engraved on it. I want it. Okay. You take the emblem. Should we leave cool. the room now? Should we look at the desk? Just I an thought, ordinary desk, yeah. I thought maybe this was like a chance for us to go back and make it right, but we didn't. Well, we didn't have the chance to. It didn't no. give us the option to. All right. Let's go into the bathroom. Bathroom seems locked from the other side. Oh, no, no, no. Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, let's go back to the first floor. Wait, so someone's locked in the bathroom? Well, the, the, it's locked from the inside, so we don't know. Ah! The, so this is where the painting used to be in the first mm -hmm. floor, or the, the first landing. Yeah. Now there's a small hole. Oh, because it fell off and hit us in the head? Maybe. Let's look at the hole. You look through the small hole and see the completely overgrown garden behind the house. Unfortunately, the small hole is just big enough for a mouse to get through. Take. Why is that unfortunate? I'd love for a mouse to come into my house. You can't take it. Okay. Do you want to go downstairs? Yeah, I guess so. Let's go downstairs. <gasps> you can't go downstairs because the staircase collapsed. Um... Was there an earthquake or something that I missed? Hello? All right, let's go west into the okay. study. <gasps> what? The way to the study is blocked by a big pile of rubble. What is going on? We can't. All right, we got to go back go... to the bedroom. <gasps> you find yourself in what seems to be the master bedroom of the house. The Baroque covered wallpaper design on the walls is covered in blood stains. A blood trail leads to the bathroom on the east. You can see a bed, a closet, and a desk. You can go west or east. Well, can we, we tried going to the bathroom. Can we use the knife or something on the bathroom door? So we don't have a knife anymore. We have a note, the meds, and an emblem. Let's try to go to the bathroom. It's locked from the other side. So we can't go anywhere upstairs. What if we use the emblem? Yeah. On which object? Uh, oh, we can use it on the blister strips. Ooh. So we can open up the blister strips. Oh. You can't use it though. Okay. <laughs> All right. Let's use it on the note. The. Try anything. All right. Let's use it on the note. Nope. Let's use it on the bed. Can't use it that way. Let's use it on the. No, it's not letting us use it on anything. What's the last one? Desk. Can't use it that way. Okay. So we can't use the emblem. Wait, so we can't go anywhere upstairs except for the locked it, bathroom door? Mm -hmm, and the bedroom. And the bedroom has a bed, a closet, and a desk, as we know. What about the closet? Let's look at the closet. Closet is filled with men's clothing and blah, blah, blah. blah. Yeah. The doors lay broken on the floor. Oh, never mind. The women's clothing and shoes, almost everything contains blood. The doors lay broken on the floor. Okay. Well, keep trying stuff. Let's open. Can't open it. Let's take it. He don't want to touch that. Desk. Just an ordinary desk. Take. Can't take just it. Just a desk. Just bed. An Look at ordinary it's a king size desk. bed. The sheets are stained with blood. Take. Don't want to touch that. 
I don't understand. When you go to the hallway, it's just a hole and that's it? Mm -hmm. Really? Yeah. You I mean, can't go up? We haven't looked at the note yet since that whole okay, thing went down. Okay, look at the note. I'm sorry, but I just can't take it any longer. Hmm. You want to go back to the main landing? I don't know. I'm a little confused. All right. So we're on the landing above the stairs. Mm -hmm. You're on the first floor, which means the it second floor. It says you floor. can go east, down, or west. So we go down. It's blocked. Staircase collapsed. Okay. We go west. Rubble in the way. We can't get to the study or downstairs. We can only get to the bathroom. What if we use the emblem on the small hole? Oh, we place the emblem firmly in the hole and hear a click. The tree on the emblem suddenly lights up. It hurts your eyes. A high-pitched sound enters your ears and you slowly lose consciousness. Ah! Holy crap, dude. What? <gasps> Forest. The sound of police sirens enters your ears. You open your eyes and slowly stand up. Trees surround you. It seems you woke up in a forest. A policeman shouts, Police, put your hands up. You put your hands in the air. You're arrested for the murder of your wife. Whoa. Continue. That's it. Oh my God. So basically we just... What, what, I don't get... Where were we when we started? That's the weird part. In the forest. But if there was already blood everywhere. We killed our wife mm -hmm. in our house mm -hmm. and then we dragged her body into the forest. So we must have passed out or <coughs> fallen asleep or something in the forest. Somebody found her body and then we had this dream where we went back and, you know, I guess revealed to ourselves what we had done. And then we woke up and we were getting arrested. That's so gnarly. I guess. The worst part, though, is that like. You could go over to the good side or the previous side where nothing had happened yet and you couldn't do anything. Yeah. Like we tried everything. Yeah. Damn. That's dark, dude. Yeah, it was dark. I'm scary. That's scary. Why didn't he just take his medicine? I know. I, well, the thing is, I wonder if there was a different outcome. I don't know. There has to be. I feel so unsatisfied i feel sad i feel sad want a hug yeah if you're listening on itunes we're hugging yeah. thank you i mean that's like the thing about these choose your own adventures is like you don't know what you're gonna get mm -mm. you could get something like the last one we did where that guy was part of like that gang and he had to go kill a bunch of people yeah. like that shit was gnarly yeah but it's like, what? How do you expect? You can't, there's nothing. It's a story. There's no way to expect yeah. what's gonna happen. That was really fun, though. That was fun. I like the format of that. It's like a, a game almost. Yeah. Honestly, I feel like a, what what's cool, right? Is anyone can go on this website. I think actually, I'm sure there are websites like it. But anyone can go on a choose your own adventure website and write your your fiction. Mm -hmm. Like you can create your own story. So in theory, like. The one of you guys could make a really cool one and we could read it on the podcast. The only problem is, is like we can't vet it. You know what I mean? We'd yeah, have to have, have someone to play it first. We would have to have someone play it first to make sure it's all good and, and, and like good enough to play on the podcast. And that's kind of like the hard part about playing these. We don't have a producer. Yeah, we, we don't have anyone. That, them. Yeah. Like we, this is just us running this podcast. So like, I don't know, maybe we could think of a way to do this to where we have it pre-screened, we have it ready or even like personalized to like the podcast or that was or really i like that though that was fun that was fun and it was always, cool it was also different than the first time that we did it because mm -hmm. the first one was very much a story yes and this one was more of like a, a almost a physical game that you're choosing your physical location it felt like a like a murder mystery game yeah. yeah which was cool and there wasn't nearly as much swearing as the last one do you remember how much swearing there was it was a lot it was really gnarly <laughs> <laughs> but Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed listening to us play a Choose Your Own Adventure. It was fun. Um, feel free to tweet at us if you have ideas on how we can do this better, given it's just Jenna and myself running the podcast. Because we um, know that you guys like it, though, too. We know you guys it like it. Fun. Well, it's like I was, you know, I was going through our old podcast, and this one you guys really loved. So I was like, let's just do another one. This is our part two, so. No screaming. Okay, mommy's going to give you a hug now. Okay? Now Kermit's crying, and that means it's time to end the podcast. So I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Have a wonderful rest of your car ride. Have a wonderful nap 
or a night's sleep and we'll see you guys on the next one have a good one be good bye